Hey, what's up guys? It's Toxic here, and today I'm going to talk about something that I recently came across on the Roblox subreddit that I really wanted to talk about because it's something that not many people talk about, and I think it's something really interesting. And as you can see, it's a post by a Reddit user who has a very interesting username. I'm not even going to try to read it because I know I'm going to get it wrong, but it says right here in the title, this is never going to happen. And it has a screenshot that says, how do I change the color of my name in a game? And this is like on Roblox support, and their answer says, Currently, in-game name colors are assigned at random. At this time, there is not a way to manually assign this color or change it. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this is something that not many people talk about. I don't remember the last time that someone talked to me about, you know, how frustrated that they are that their username is in pink instead of a different color in the text chat or whatever other thing, right? And honestly, I don't think many people really talk about it or honestly even notice it. Now, as you guys can see, I'm in game right now on Who's Toxic. And if I were to just say hi in the chat, you can see that Who's Toxic is purple. Um, this is gonna come um, a little bit more important later on in the video because I actually found a game that predicts what color your username is going to be. Because even though Roblox said that the color is random, there's actually an algorithm that uh, I, I guess they use to determine what color your name will be. And this game, I guess, found out what that pattern is or that algorithm and basically just uh, predicts it for you. But this color wasn't just for the text chat. It also used to be for the leaderboard. And I don't remember when they removed the colored usernames in the leaderboard. It could have been a very, very long time ago because I think the leaderboard right here that we had before also didn't have colored names. So probably a solid few years ago was the last time that it was on the leaderboard. But nonetheless, I'm going to take you guys to the game that tries to predict um, what username has what color assigned to it. But yeah, I'm going to be leaving a link to this game down in the description in case any of you guys want to try out a username and just see what it comes up to out of curiosity. But anyway, um, just so you guys can see that this works. You see how it says enter a username? Let's just type in my username, which is who's underscore toxic. And you can see it comes up in purple. But in case you guys wanted another example to show that this works, I'm actually going to go to a very old video on my YouTube channel where I was still on my account Isotoxic, and you guys are going to see that my name comes up to be orange. As you can see in this video, um, also going back to my other point about the old leaderboard not having colors, you can see here this was 2017 I believe, and um, yeah that leaderboard didn't have the colors and the usernames. But still, um, you can see right here my username was in orange when my username was Isotoxic. And if we go back in game and we just type in I so toxic, I, I put a V by accident, but you can see it comes up to be orange. And honestly, I find it really cool that there are games on Roblox that, you know, aren't really like, you know, game games or anything, but just stuff like this. Like, for example, it tells you the color of every username pretty much. Like, you can literally just type in whatever you want here. Um, I even put a space. Hold on. Actually, now that I I'm curious, right? What color would John Doe's username be? It would be purple just like mine. Uh, what about Jane Doe? It would be green. Um, and, you know, basically you can do this with pretty much anyone. If you wanted to know what Roblox's username would be, it would be orange. But I didn't make this video just to talk about the fact that there are games out there that could predict what color name you would have based on your username. I actually wanted to talk a little bit further and talk about what if you were able to pick the color that you had on Roblox. Now, I kind of think that it would be similar to the username change system where you'd be able to change your username for probably a thousand Robux or something. But what if Roblox added that and you were able to change the color? Because I feel like this is something that, again, probably nobody has ever really thought of or maybe not too many people because, again, unless this was like 2012 and you got a light pink color for your username, it's really not that big of a deal. And even then, some people just lived with it. They really didn't care and it just ended up being fine with them. But honestly, I think that it would be pretty interesting and pretty cool if Roblox allowed you to change the color of your name in the chat for, you know, maybe like not a thousand Robux. I feel like that's probably a bit much to be asking to change something that you don't even control. But still, I think that it would be a pretty cool thing to see on Roblox that so you could change it. Honestly, I probably wouldn't even change mine. I kind of like the dark purple that Who's Toxic has by default. But I want to hear from you guys. Would you guys want to change the color of your name in the chat? And if you would, let me know how much Robux you would be willing to pay. And if you wouldn't, just let me know why you wouldn't. I'm very curious to see how you guys think about this. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. And goodbye.